World-renowned artist Bernard Hoyes has taken up residency in a far-off spot in Desert Hot Springs, where he has a newly refurbished workshop. His latest project is certainly an ambitious one. In less than a week, Hoyes is going to travel to China to sculpt a bluefin tuna out of four tons of granite. Mr. Hoyes took us inside of his studio to discuss his evolution from painting back into sculpting, and he showed us the working prototype of his latest project. This one is the model that's going to actually be the, uh, the rendition for the final piece. Bernard Hoyes has made a huge impact in 30 years as a professional painter. His artwork serves to remind people of their ancestral heritage that flows from African roots. His paintings are exhibited all over the world. Bernard's work is collected by uh, half the government heads of South America, uh, many, many celebrities. Uh, Oprah Winfrey included, Natalie Cole, Jasmine Guy, Delta Burke, Capitol Records, many, many corporations. I believe Bernard's work is in six or eight embassies. Hoyes studied sculpture in art school, but then rode the wave of his successful painting career for the last three decades. A few years ago, he ran into a former art school classmate who suggested that he take up sculpting again, and the avid fisherman had a specific project in mind. He said, well, I, my biggest catch so far is uh, a 450-pound uh, tuna, bluefin tuna, and I'd like to have it rendered for my patio. So uh, let me know what you can do. Hoy spent two years working on 50 sketched versions of the fish and the last nine months on the 3D rendering. He decided that granite would be the best material for the project, and the best granite that he could find is in China. So that's where Hoyes is headed. There's a lot to learn from um, these craftsmen in China. So um, I, I'd like to get it documented. So we've been really looking for support to uh, take a, a film crew or a, a, a cameraman with us to uh, go there and uh, film the process and document my sojourn. Poise views the month-long project as a cultural exchange with the Chinese people. It was also more practical to sculpt the fish in China. Four tons of granite will be shaped down to less than three, which makes for lower shipping costs to get the piece to New York. So once the, uh, the piece is sculpted and finished, then I have to ship it to Long Beach and then have it uh, trucked to uh, New York. So uh, it's going to be a long journey for the fish. <laughs> and the return to sculpting has been a long journey for Hoyes, who hopes his three-dimensional work can have a similar impact that his paintings have had over the years. In the past, uh, I've been able to garner some support from the community and from the community around me for my paintings uh, by the nature of how I uh, spoke to the community through my imagery and things like that. So I'm open to continue that uh, with, the, with the 3D project. And later this week, Hoyes is going to show us some of the process as to how he is actually going to create that sculpture and how he's done some of those models that you saw in this piece tonight.